as he rang the bell, shifting his tool bag from one hand to the other. Joe thought he saw a shadow flit across the large sash window on his left. Just an impression, but it was enough to make his scalp tingle uncomfortably. Hmm, probably just a kid. His thoughts were interrupted by the opening of the door and a blast of warm air rushing out to meet him. The woman who stood before him was tall, with dark mid-length hair. Slim, with long glossy fingernails, which initially shouted a contrast to her faded jeans and white shirt. On closer inspection, those jeans were well fitting and soft, the shirt artfully tattered. Only the rich can afford to clothe themselves in such measured poverty, with designer rips and cleverly calculated patches of translucence. Yes, the woman asked, frowning at him, resenting his interruption of her pre-Christmas planning. Um, it's, it's Joe. I, I mean, Johan Nazar. Carpenter, you left a message on my phone. At once, the woman's face relaxed into a smile, and she stood back to allow Joe over the threshold. Marvellous, she replied. In here. 